Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your... We're talking about the fightings here. The fightings! Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Wirestock, and need I say any more? Well, I will, just in case you didn't know that Wirestock is still the easiest way to sell your photos, videos, and vectors online. It's simple. You upload your photos or videos to Wirestock, they tag and keyword them for you, and then distribute them for sale on the largest stock websites like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Pond5, and now Getty Images, as well as iStock Photo. You do this all from one single free account. There's no subscription fees or flat fees. When you sell something, Wirestock takes 15% and you get the rest. So here's your assignment. Go shoot photos or videos of the landmarks in your town and get them uploaded to your free account. Head on over to bit.ly slash wirefro555 to sign up right now. First up, a photographer is taken to her tickety talk to not dance the whap like this guy but to slam men, all men. How dare you? Yep, photographer and TikTok user Hannah Hallplay recently blamed dads for ruining family photo shoots. She goes on to say the dads never wanna be there, would rather be playing video games, throw tantrums worse than kids, and generally ruin the entire experience for the mothers. Now here's a quote directly from her video. As a photographer, this is so frustrating because nine times out of 10, the dads and their bad attitudes are what's holding us up. If you guys would stop pouting like little children because you have to take pictures with your wife and family, my job would be done so much faster. Sexist much? I guess that's just a language you can't understand. Well, let's take a look at the definition of sexist to see if it fits. And here's the definition. Characterized by or showing prejudice, stereotyping, or discrimination typically against women on the basis of sex. Or in Han's case, men. How dare you? So is she also saying that two men Hi. who are married with kids and hire a photographer also fall into her same sexist stereotype? Because I'm sure gay men also like video games as well as complaining too. Well but might have a better time out doing a family photo shoot. But see, I don't know, because I can't generalize everybody and put them into the same statement. He is a tax attorney. And he's an anesthesiologist. You see, that's called sexism. Anyway, Steven and I will be breaking down her video kind of like a baseball game on the next Frono's Photo Raw Talk podcast that comes out this Friday. And it might go off the rails and get us canceled. I don't know, you never know. But new Raw Talks come out every Friday. If you haven't checked them out just yet, go get it wherever you get your podcasts. Next up, Sony has announced their latest ZV-1 style camera, this time calling it the ZV-1. Ah! I wonder what the F stands for. Fail! I didn't say it, they did. Anyway, Sony is saying this camera was designed for content creators ready to make that leap from phone to camera to elevate their photos and videos to new heights of creativity. This time around, the ZV-1F ditches the 24 to 70 zoom lens in favor of a fixed 20 millimeter equivalent lens that is not optically stabilized. Now, I don't know about you, but when I vlog, I do like having the wide angle lens, but I also like being able to turn around the camera and optically zoom in on something in a distance. So this is kind of a weird choice to do a fixed lens. The camera sports a one inch 20.1 megapixel sensor, has a Bion's X image processor, three inch side flipping and rotatable touchscreen, 4K 30 video, and some other holdover features from the first version. The biggest selling point of this camera that Sony is pushing is its price point of $499. Now that's all well and good, but trying to say that content creators who use their phones but somehow want to take a leap to this thing is a stretch in my book. Maybe take a leap into an FX30 or even an A6500 or 6600 if that thing exists, but I probably think that an iPhone is more versatile than this thing at this point. Not to mention, why is Sony trying to push people away from phones? They already make a phone with a one inch sensor that has the same, if not better, autofocus. So what grade does this camera get? Ah! Look, these jokes just write themselves. Thanks, Sony. And finally, Canon Rumors is back this week with another rumored R camera. Last week, they told us about the potential for an R8, a crop sensor mirrorless camera. And this week, they hit us with not just rumored specs of an R6 II, but sure fire specs. This one should sh sh be fine. Well, next week, they'll probably hit us with an R1, an R2, an R12, an R23, and an R2D2. 
Anyway, onto the sure-fired rumor specs. The R6 Mark II might have a 24 megapixel full frame sensor up from 20, have dual pixel AF, Duh. IBIS, shoot at 12 frames per second mechanical, same dual SD card slots, hybrid auto, whatever that is, digital teleconverter, which I can only guess might be some sort of cropping for shooting stills, 4K 30 no crop, 4K 60 with the crop, which is gonna piss off those 4K 60 wannabe shooters, which I don't care about, Canon Log 3, and cloud raw processing, which I have no idea what that is either. Now, what I don't see here is mention of the image processor, which I can only guess would be at least a Digic X processor. Where can you go from there? Where? If not an X2. X2, could you imagine another X DMX2? Or maybe they'll just call it 11. But the biggest question is, will the sensor be the same one found in the R3, making an R6 II a stack sensor shooting mini R3? Phone call. I wonder who that could be. Hello? Ah, yeah. oh, it's Roberta L with Canon PR. <laughs> what's, what's that? Stop, yeah. stop talking yeah. about rumors yeah. or else? Yeah. Or else what? Or else what? Could you imagine a mini R3 and an R6 body and what that would mean to the competition? Nikon doesn't have anything that comes close to the current R6 and Sony can't shoot more than six frames a second raw uncompressed with the a7 IV. You would have to think if these rumors are true, Canon will have to leave something out of the R6 II to differentiate it from the R3. It's called hobbling. Or maybe they won't. What do you think? Let me know down below. There you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around. Don't forget to check out the next Fronos Photo Raw Talk that comes out on Friday. If you missed last week's video, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared, PolandFronosPhoto.com. See ya.